this vlog mga kaks, we will be going back to the little Baguio here in Negros. Not just to unwind, but to share to you how this town started and where it began. So sit back, relax, and make sure to subscribe in our channel. Let's go mga kaks! Don Salvador Benedicto is a premier tourism destination here in Niagara with its cold weather, beautiful sceneries, and a lot of resto that you can choose. DSP is really a great weekend getaway to everybody here in Niagara. And with the Kalikalian Harvest Festival almost on its way next month, this coming February, atun balikan kung anong ginhalinan sang Don Salvador Benedicto. Let's go, mga kaks! Before the townhood of Don Salvador Benedicto, all its barangay was once a remote barangay of Murcia, Calatrava, and San Carlos City. The town was created by virtue of Batas Pambansa Bilang 336 on February 9, 1983, and the first designated mayor at the time was Glicerio Ahmed. This mountainous town were mostly sugarcane fields, cogonal, and forestal areas. There were only few residents at the time and houses were scattered. I'm actually proud ngang akon lola is from Rangay Pandanon so I really experienced how hard to visit the town before. popular barangay during its infancy was Igmayaan. In its deep forest, former Governor Peding Montelebano Sr. held their office during the World War II while governing the province. His vice governor at the time was Salvador Benedicto. So that's where the name of the town was originated. So ang Igmaya ang inpili isang anay governor Monte Libano Jr. to become the center of this new town. The governor made an ocular on this new site and he pointed that on this hill will be the location of the municipal hall. Kay makita mo gideri ang bilong nga banwa halin sa babaw. We also commend the leadership of Mayor Nehemias Nene de la Cruz as he started several programs and improved the services in the town. With the Kalikalihan Harvest Festival coming this month, former Mayor Nene de la Cruz was considered as the father of the town as he is the brain in making DSB a premier tourism destination until now.
today with the leadership of Mayor Mark Slynn de la Cruz, improvement is ongoing and we can say that DSB is now far from where it began.